Having nursed my two oldest children until they were practically able to write about the experience themselves, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was completely unprepared for the gauntlet of bottle and formula paraphernalia that adopting infant triplets would prompt me to run. In fact, when I first encountered a stiff bristled nipple brush at Target, I involuntarily clutched my own breasts and gasped, a woman would do that to herself. <laughs> In time, I learned they were designed to scrub latex. <laughs> this epiphany heralded the first in a long line of lessons that adoption would reteach me about the language of motherhood. When my first two cried out in colicky rage, I cried too, wondering why at 3 a.m. they hated sleep so fiercely. <laughs> at the same hour six years later, I juggled three four-month-olds, four-month-olds, it's hard to say and hard to do, <laughs> to silence a symphony of screams. This time, though, I half smiled, awed by having been chosen to mother these miracles. Grace deepened by my awareness that only tragedy and poverty could mobilize a love so deep, so radical, that I might be entrusted with these precious 3 a.m. tears. During the mortal fatigue of one night-turned morning with the triplets, it hit me how very chosen I had been the first two times I'd walked this rut into the floorboards, <laughs> and how very precious had been those tears. I breathed out the mantra of maternity while I endlessly rocked and walked. Some nights, several minutes after I knew the trusting limpness of a baby asleep against my heart, I'd still softly shh, 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 maybe to quiet myself. Did you know that every culture around the world makes some approximation of this sound to soothe a crying child? They say it's an imitation of the sound of the mother's heart as heard in utero. I love the thought that a mama's heart is the elusive mother tongue of the world, the language that binds us all together. It was not my heart that first taught its cadence to three of my five babies. But shh, 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 my heart still lisps every time they get theirs broken. Shh, 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 I breathe. There will be other games other friends, other chances. My mama heart beats to siphon away their pain, to carry what I can and quiet what I can't. When we initiated the process of adopting from Ethiopia, I wrote this unsendable letter to a mother whose love I will spend the rest of my life living up to, the mother whose heart would teach our babies this rhythm of peace. Dear mama, I have been a pregnant woman have caressed my swelling middle, humming private lullabies to a private baby, growing quiet and secret inside of me. I have cherished the fluttery kicks that no one else could feel, and I have scrambled to share the forceful elbow rolls of a baby grown so cramped inside of me that every motion protrudes in tiny visible waves. It is your face that I see now when I dream of my child, your pregnant, laughing face. And I wonder, do you imagine his future? Do you picture her face? Do you picture mine? Your face beams out from a table of tangled statistics that explode in my heart. Are you the one woman in 14 whose body will break in the final heroic push to share life? Are you one of the millions whose hunger and pain have set your jaw with the hard hope that your baby, our baby, must have more? Are you one of the uncountable many whose body will be racked by malaria or HIV or diphtheria or typhoid or mumps, diseases I dreaded being vaccinated for in grade school? Are you going to die? How can I dream of you with your pregnant laughing face and pray for my baby to come home soon. What kind of a person am I? What kind of a person are you? I wish I knew. I may not ever know. We are mothers now together. 
I wish I knew if you know that. Do you dream of me? Do you dream of the hope laid out before all of us? Or do you dream of nights watching your baby, our baby, breathe? You are my baby's mama. Love hovers just above all my feelings about you and your pregnant laughing face. My feelings ride lower, closer to the earth. We are mothers together here on this complicated ground. You pay the price, I get the blessing. Is that what adoption is? I know that story. I learned it in Sunday school. But I have failed to honor God again and again. I will not fail our baby. I will mother with all of my heart. Love, Amy. I finished that letter nine months to the day before I let lay down her life loving our kids into this world. Over the past five years, I have sent it again and again, carried forward to heaven in every beat of my heart. Last year, God blessed me with two more babies, two babies that would only know my love as a heartbeat before flying home to heaven. The ache of my empty arms sometimes makes it hard even to hold the five impossibly beautiful children that still, still press in close for love. But in my sadness, I have imagined Ilech, backlit by eternity, rocking my two little ones while I rock three of hers here in this world where joy still wears barbs on its back and beauty still drags its rough belly through the mess we've made in our clumsy efforts at love. I imagine the day when I fly home to heaven and she and I will clutch each other's hands and laughing, share stories of the children we have both learned to love. Or maybe we will just fall into each other's arms and whisper in the language that we both know best, shh, because maybe the mother tongue is really the heartbeat of God, and we're all just waiting to be born. <laughs>